What shape is a C-clamp found in most home workshops? The C. What name did Neil Armstrong give to the spot on the moon where man first touched down? Pass. What sport does Samuel L. Jackson reportedly take two days off from work each week in order to play? Pass. What is the approximate number of languages in Nigeria? Three, 30, or 300? Three. What Playboy model and actress was once Mrs. Mike Tyson? Robin Givens. What name did Neil Armstrong give the spot where man first touched down on the moon? Pass. What sport does Samuel L. Jackson reportedly take two days off from each working week to play? Kickboxing. I have no idea. Time. How'd you do, Janine? Eh, not too good. Eh, all right. Hold on. Let's wave Joe back in. Waving Joe in. Joe, welcome back. Thank you. I don't know if you know this, but the jackpot is $1,800. I did. I've heard about it. 17 straight wins for Hot Wings and Joe. Mm-hmm. More than three weeks. That's, yeah. It's pretty good. Are you ready? Yes. <sighs> Dumber than the show trivia. Joe's turn. Janine playing for $1,800. Joe, your turn begins in three, two, one. What shape is a C-clamp found in most home workshops? I mean, a a U? What name did Neil Armstrong give to the spot where man first touched down on the moon? Say that again. What name did Neil Armstrong give to the spot where man first touched down on the moon? Uh... Pass. What sport does Samuel L. Samuel L. Jackson reportedly take two days off from each working week to play? Golf. What is the approximate number of languages spoken in Nigeria? Three, thirty, or three hundred? Um, I'm gonna guess three hundred. What Playboy model and actress was once Mrs. Mike Tyson? Robin Gibbons. What name did Neil Armstrong give to the spot where man first touched down on the moon? Olympus Mons. Time. <laughs> huh. uh-huh. I have a <laughs> I have a correction, by the way, on something I said. Wow. Uh, this text off the Straight Talk Hotline, guys. I won seventeen hundred dollars on Dumber Than the Show back in February. That's the second highest, not sixteen hundred. Hashtag oh. never forget. Hashtag Ronnie. Okay. Sorry, Ronnie. Thank you for the correction. How'd you do, Joe? Dude, I hate this. I feel like I did so bad, and I, I don't feel it. I know it. Well, let's see. Janine is maybe going to get a check for $1,800. Janine, welcome back. What shape is a C-clamp found in most home workshops? Joe uh, sputtered a bit. This one broke my brain. This is why I did not hear the second question even. And then said, you? I I mean, I feel like it. Janine said c I mean, yeah, like... Like the name. Like, you kind of want to <laughs> the answer say is that. C! One to nothing, Janine. <laughs> but, uh, I thought it can't... <laughs> it's called c clam. I understand that, but... <laughs> you picked a different letter. I mean... It... <laughs> but, yeah. Well, I mean, a C is just a, a side... comment. Okay. A C is a sideways U. Yeah, but if, if it's closed, it's an O. Or a zero. Like, I mean, how can it's you... called a C-clamp. Yeah, I get what Who's it's Benedict... called. Who's buried in Kennedy's tomb? 
I, uh, <laughs> or Grant's it, tomb, whatever. I was like, it can't one to nothing, Janine. Janine, I bet you didn't think you'd take the lead on that one. Uh, uh, <laughs> nope. Uh, what name did Neil Armstrong give to the spot where man first touched down on the moon? Joe went with Olympus Mons. <laughs> Janine did not answer. Is it Olympus Mons? No, no it is not. One to nothing, Janine. What is it? The is moon it trader? Tranquility Base? Tr- Tranquility Base, yes. Yeah. Uh, 100% of my life, until I wrote these questions today, I thought they said Tranquility Bay, even though there's obviously not a bay of water mm. on the moon. No. There might have been at one point. Mm. Yeah. What sport does Samuel Samuel boy, struggling? Samuel L. Jackson reportedly take two days off from each working week to play? Joe said golf. Janine curiously went with kickboxing. The answer is golf. Ooh. One to one. Look at that. Boy. What Playboy model and actress was once Mrs. Mike Tyson? Joe said Robin Givens. Janine said Robin Givens. Both correct and we're tied at two. I hate that it comes down to this. Ugh. What is the approximate number of languages spoken in Nigeria? Three, 30, or 300? If nobody gets it, we go to clocks and times, and I don't have any, I, can't, I don't have a guess who won that. And if one of them gets it right, since their answers were different, they win. Joe said 300, Janine said three. The approximate number of languages spoken in Nigeria is 300. Yes! Oh, thank God! To, oh, I would have literally hurt myself <laughs> so bad. You would pick three. Oh, if it was my three, they'd say three. God. Yeah, that'd be, uh, yeah, they wouldn't say approximately three it unless wouldn't, it's just it wouldn't, like lazy scientists. It wouldn't be very oh notable. Oh, my God. Thank God. I would, um, yeah, I thought I, it's either going to be 30 or 300, and I'm like, why not shoot the moon? Oh. You'd have lost on time. I believe oh, that. I, I'm telling you, C-clamp. I mean, that shot. <laughs> that shot a hole in my brain. I'm gonna, oh, this oh, weekend, I'm going to build a new A-frame house shaped like a B. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, and technically, sometimes that A-frame you sound house like a, would be more of a triangle. You sound like a dumb D, but with oh, a V. Or, or just an upside-down V. <laughs> <laughs> You're an upside down V. Uh, Janine, that was <laughs> close. I'm sorry. Thank you for Your playing. Your mom's a clamp shape like a C. Thank you. <laughs> burp, burp.